हेलो हेलो माय टेस्ट so by just changing a couple of things we actually improved our trading strategy significantly and that's why i always recommend my audience to check out the tradermate.one platform it's free of course but yeah it's amazing for you to improve your trading strategies hello financial programmers i'm ritwik dashora and i'm back with a new video and some new learnings as i promised in my last video i will make this playlist on tradomate and yes there will be a few videos on how we can actually make trading strategies on tradomate.one and make them a lot better so yes guys you read it right if you are here to improve your price channel strategy or any other related strategies then yes you are at the right place in this video i will be referring to one of the example strategies at tradomate.one which is price channel strategy and then and we'll run the back test see its first layer second layer and third layer back testing analysis and eventually use it to change the strategy and make it much better for my new viewers guys if you are new to this youtube channel on this channel i turn all my viewers to successful financial programmers here i upload videos related to making trading bots implementation of ai in finance exploring some highly valuable finance apis making some great trading strategies etc etc so if this is something that you are interested in then click on the subscribe button and also hit on the bell icon because there are many more videos that are coming on this youtube channel which will add a lot of value to your skill sets if you have not watched my last 3 4 videos then guys tradomate.one is my own startup i started up this company a few months ago with yashu and satyam and uh, i'm very happy to tell you that now our company is vc backed eventually we'll keep on adding different things here on this platform the main motive here is to make this platform very user friendly to all the traders and the entire audience on my youtube channel perfect so if you have not yet signed up at uh, tradomate.one just click on this get started for free and just uh, sign up with your email address it's free of cost guys you don't need to pay anything here and you are still in a beta phase so a lot of different features are coming on a daily basis so, so just stay tuned to the platform and you'll see a lot more things here what are the topics to cover today we are improving our price channel strategy using tradomate.one so what we'll be doing is the, the first thing is we'll be referring to the example one of the example strategies at tradomate.one which is price channel strategy it's already there you don't need to write any code for this particular strategy second is we will refer to the first layer analysis we'll, we'll try to make our uh, trading strategy more optimized and then post that will move to the second and third layer of analysis things like risk ratio analysis and scenario analysis on bullish bearish and sideways market to improve the strategy even further just briefly explaining what is price channel strategy so basically it's very similar to bollinger bands where we have an upper band and a lower band in this case we define it using the historical highs and historical lows it's a great trading strategy if uh, you are following a pullback but in the momentum market in a trendy market can actually lead to some losses so a disclaimer guys this is not investment recommendation or trading recommendation we are making this video just to educate you on how to make trading strategies at tradomate.one and improve it accordingly please do proper research before putting real money into the strategy perfect so i'll come back to this platform click on create new bot if you signed up for the first time it will say uh, create your first bot right now i've already built four bots previously so i can see all the all the trading bots that i made in the dashboard section in the builder section again these are the four bots i can click on the uh, this button to create a new bot box is the documentation that you need to follow to write the python code uh, on uh, tradomate.one it's again very simple to understand please let me know if you have any questions in the comment section i'll reply as soon as possible don't forget to join the discord community guys it's very user friendly because there are many more traders interacting with each other and with tradomate team it's a very close knit and helpful community so check that out perfect i'll click on create new bot it asks be to select python bot creator right now we just have python bot creator eventually we'll have the rule based logic creator as well so i'll just click on proceed now it is asking me to select one of the sample trading strategies we have ema crossover msd bollinger bands etc i'll just scroll down a bit you can see the price channel strategy here which is the one i am interested in in this video let's select this one click on proceed perfect the bot created successfully let's select one of these uh, stocks i'll uh, um, go with I itc let's select itc cool now i can see the chart here over here you can see the ticker again the exchange which is nse the currency which is indian rupee this is 
the candlestick's interval. So we can select it from one minute to four hours. If we say, I'll just select four hours, candlesticks chart will update automatically like this one. Very simple. Now let's just uh, squeeze this a bit. And this is the code of the price channel strategy, right? So let's try to understand this particular code and then see how this particular strategy is working, right? The first thing is we are importing TradeOmate as TM. Why? Because we have provided all the functionalities that you would need at this in this platform in just one library to reduce your work. You don't need to import pandas or numpy, etc. Just import tradeomate.tm and that's it. The first segment of this code is this one, right? Here you will define all your inputs, right? Which is a function def strategy info, right? Provide all the inputs here with this particular format, which is config dot and then the input name. Right, so the first one is config dot initial capital. Let's keep it 50,000 only. Config dot quantity one. Right now the price is 474, so I'll increase it to 100. So we are trading somewhere around 40,000 rupees, right? Let's keep the uh, length, which is config dot length to be say 10, right? Uh, perfect, so this that's the first uh, function. The second is this particular thing, right? We, just, we initiated the uh, trade the strategy. And now DEF, which is a function, my strategy, this is where we'll write our own strategy, right? Now, as I mentioned, we have two bands here, right? The upper band and the lower band. HH is, is the historical highs. Basically, I'm, I'm calculating the maximum value of highs in last few candles, right? So config dot length, which is 10. So in last 10 candles, I'm calculating the maximum high. And similarly, in last 10 candles, I'm calculating the minimum low, right? If the last candle low is less than the lower band, then in that case, I am entering a position which is TM dot enter long position. Quantity is equal to config dot quantity, which is in our case 100. And I'm just writing a comment here, which is this one. Let me just change it to long, right? And similar, similarly, if uh, the data dot last high, which is the last high of this particular stock is greater than the historical highs, which is upper band. And in that case, TM dot enter short position market. Quantity is quantity and comment is, I'll write it short. As simple as that, TM dot plot, I'm plotting these things as well. TM dot plot, HH and LL title again, H, H and LL. I'm making the color as red and green. Perfect. I'm not making any further changes. Let's run this particular code and see what are the results. Perfect. So the net profit here is uh, 5.87 CAGR, which is compounded annual growth rate is very small, which is 2.18. Maximum drawdown is significantly high, which is 12.44. Win rate is Descent, which is 63.27. Profit factor is also descent, which is 1.23. Number of trades, 98. And average trades per day is 0.1. Perfect. This is for the last 2000 candles, guys. Uh, we have data at one for the last 2000 candles, which will increase very soon. Right. So I think uh, uh, by looking at the orders, I can see that there's a urgent need of uh, a stop loss here. Right. So let's just, uh, before even going to the second and third layer, I would like to introduce a stop loss here, which is config dot stop loss percent PCT is equal to two. This is my variable name, right? 2%. I'll just go here and I'll provide stop loss percent is equal to config dot stop loss to avoid making any mistakes here. I'll just, let me just squeeze it again. I'll just go here, copy this and paste it here. The same thing goes here in the short as well, right? So we have a stop loss for all the orders. Let's save and run again. Perfect. So yeah, now the net profit is 16.46 CAGR is also has also gone up and maximum drawdown is 12.28. Win rate has gone down a bit. Profit factor is somewhat the same only. We can see that we have actually improved the strategy a bit, but I think the biggest problem here with the uh, price channel strategy is that it works really well in uh, the range bound market, I guess, and uh, in the bullish or bearish time, it should be uh, not that great. So in order to check this, I'll click on proceed to next step, which is in depth backtesting. I'll click on proceed, right? You will see the equity curve, which is a bit volatile. If I click on say buy and hold, there's a big difference. 
when we buy and hold versus this particular trading strategy no worries over here you'll see the risk and ratio analysis right our sharpie ratio is very small our comma ratio is again very small sortino ratio is also not that great beta is actually very low because i was thinking that there's a risk risky trading strategy but in this case i can see that's not that risky information ratio is amazing highest portfolio profit is 28.23 percent so actually we were we were doing really well and then eventually uh with some some of the trades we lost everything because the highest portfolio loss is only 4.08 percent so i think there's a lot of things that we can do in this particular trading strategy let's uh, click on the scenario analysis right it will go to this particular ribbon i'll click on market trend and click on test the scenario perfect so yeah this is what i was expecting as well you can see that in the sideways market we are doing really well right this blue line this blue curve is our actual equity curve yellow is sideways market red is only bearish time and green is only bullish time so basically what we are doing here is what will happen if the strategy is only running in the bullish time what will happen if the strategy is running only in the bearish and sideways market so that's how we have actually split the entire equity curve into three different segments to see in which market our strategy is doing good right it is a great um, analysis and we have got really good uh, uh, feedback about this particular analysis so thank you so much guys for providing the constant feedback and for your love for this particular feature so let's uh, dig deeper here uh, i i am actually i would like to improve my trading strategy in the um, bullish time right in bullish time actually i have recently i actually got a huge drop in bearish time it's decent and there was there were not a lot of bearish uh, i would say period at itc but yeah in bullish time i need to make some improvements you can if you click if you see here the net profit of uh, sideways market is 27.9 percent overall is 16.46 percent in bullish time it's nine minus 9.65 percent we need to work on this thing of course if you click on view all then you'll see all these and you can actually compare all of them to see what changes you can do in the trading strategy if you click on this particular toggle you'll see all the orders in different uh, uh, market trends say bullish time right uh, sideways market and bearish time so i'll just click on say bullish time so this is the place when i actually made huge losses right i think all of them are hitting stop loss here right so actually i can see one thing whenever the trend is going up right the strategy is unnecessarily taking some uh, positions i need to stay away from the trendy market right this is what the strategy is it's a price channel strategy it, if the price is in a, in a particular channel then only i'll make money so i need to be away from any particular trend right that's one thing second is i think uh, there has to be a close orders uh, function as well here uh, where i close all the orders after accomplishing something right it's not take profit but at a, at a particular level i close the order so I'll, if i just click on edit strategy it will redirect me to the first page right so what i'm saying here is if we let me just expand it a bit right so this is upper band and this is the lower band what i'm saying is if uh, we close all the position when the price is somewhere in mid and actually we'll be able to make more returns that's one thing one thing second is i'll have to do something to like be away from the trends i don't want to trade in the trendy market these are the two things which will actually make the trading strategy better which i analyzed from the scenario analysis so what i'll do here is i'll just start with this one again expand this one perfect right here i'll introduce another variable which is close positions is equal to close position level is equal to an average which is hh plus ll divided by 2 right now here i'll just go here if data dot close is greater than close position level dot i lock 0 actually minus 1 multiply by say 0 0.995 right so i'm actually going a bit below the uh, average price and just copy this paste it here if this is less than 0 0.001.005 0 right and in that case tm dot close all close all positions and the comment is close position right let's run it okay there's an error here this should be last close last close and this one as well should be last close let's save and run again perfect so uh, now the net profit is 22.72 percent which is way higher from what we started with CAGR is has gone up as well. Maximum drawdown is now 9.42 percent. Win rate is decent. Profit factor is amazing. Number of trades 192 and average trades per day is 0.2. 
let's proceed to next step and perfect still we made a huge loss in the in the end we'll have to work on it again uh, if we click on the risk and ratio analysis this has this is now looking better if we check all the orders one by one again we can do further analysis so by just changing a couple of things we actually improved our trading strategy significantly and that's why i always recommend my audience to check out the tradermate.1 platform it's free of course but yeah it's amazing for you to improve your trading strategies if you click on edit strategy again it will redirect me to the python code and this is how the iteration keeps on happening right if you remember i still need to work on the on avoiding the trades in a trending market right so i'll again provide some of the conditions and then again check the results so yeah the video has already been quite long so I, this is a uh, homework for you guys please let me know in the comment section whatever iterations you do and how you uh convert this particular thing into a successful trading strategy. If you liked even one thing about this video guys, please click on the like button. It really helps with the algorithm and this is how you'll be supporting my work as well. And also click on the subscribe button and hit on the bell icon because there are many more videos that are coming on this YouTube channel. And I bet you that this will improve your skill sets significantly. The next video will be on some other trading strategy on TradeUmate.1 only. It's a playlist on this particular platform. So stay tuned. You'll be learning a lot of things here. And always make sure that you go and check your trading strategy in the scenario analysis tab. Thank you so much guys for watching this video till the end. You can click here to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Over there you'll see this entire playlist on TradeUmate.1 and over there you'll see this walkthrough video of TradeUmate.1 platform. Keep learning, keep financial programming and I'll see you very very soon in the next video. Until then, peace.